Recording. Was it Pavel? I sent you a message. So I could get the, the other thing. But how's everyone else doing? How's everyone doing? While we're waiting for everyone to come in, there's what five people here so far? Oh, four, including me. People are still coming in. Hello. Do 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 do. How's everyone doing today? Oh, also, today's Friday. Happy Friday, you guys. Woo. What a wild week it was. What a wild week it was. What a wild week it was. Anyone have any fun weekend plans? Oh, Lily. Lily, you're back. Lily, I, I told you I was going to wear the shirt today. I'm so sorry. It's back here. And... It's dirty. I wore the Lily, I love Lily shirt all day today. So everyone was like, where'd you get that shirt? And I was like, oh, it's Gucci. You can't have one. So yeah, so. Oh, uh, you can't wait for the weekend? Yeah. Anyone have any fun plans for the weekend? Was it here in Japan? We have a three, we have a three day holiday. So no work on Monday. So nap time. That's what that means. Nap time i'll be taking a nap i'll be i'll be studying too i'll be taking a nap and studying mainly taking a nap hopefully playing uh hopefully playing some video games yeah what is it is it a holiday for you guys it may be a holiday in america too i don't know it may it may be a holiday in america i have no idea I think it depends on where you live. Who knows? Who knows? Welcome, welcome. We're just here hanging out, doing the doing the doing the fun thing. So you got some things in the chat here. Yeah, we're, yeah we're, we're hanging out. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're talking. And I want to hear, does anybody have any, like, what is it, anything fun that they've done, that they did, really? Any exciting news for the week? Any exciting news for the week? Was well, anyone doing anything amazing? I think, uh, <laughs> what is it? I was supposed to go karaoke um, this weekend, but my my voice is uh, what is it? It's, it's too hoarse. It's too hoarse. I feel like I sound like a frog, so I will not be going uh, to karaoke this weekend with my friends. Today's topic. Today's topic is let me read this correctly. Comparison comparison phrases in English. Comparison phrases in English. You're going to McDonald's. Is, the, is McDonald's delicious? Is it good? The McDonald's in Japan is completely different. It's like a cafe here. It's like a coffee cafe. It's like a coffee cafe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not a big McDonald's fan. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not I'm not a McDonald's fan. I'll I'll eat McDonald's. If I eat McDonald's, it's most likely because I'm sad. Like it's like it's like dang. I'm here again with this burger and it doesn't taste like So that's the fun thing. So in in Japan the burgers aren't greasy but I think because like the meat in McDonald's burgers. So one time, I would say one time in America, I ate a McDonald's burger and I I literally like bit into the burger and I didn't taste anything. Like it it tasted like uh it didn't taste like meat. It just kind of tasted like something in my mouth. And I was like, "Do I have COVID?" But when I I think because my tongue is like really really sensitive, um 
what is it? When I eat McDonald's burgers, I think it's just like because I'm eating like my own hamburgers because I'm like, a, I think I'm a really good cook. I think I'm a good cook. But I think it's also because like I'm eating my own burgers and I'm eating at like, like other places. <laughs> when I eat McDonald's, I'm like, the bread, the bread is not hitting it. The bread is like, after like 10 minutes, the McDonald's bread becomes a certified weapon. Like I could take that bread and break someone's windshield open. I could like use that thing as a Frisbee. Like the bread is just not it. Like, I'm sorry, the McDonald's bread is just not kicking it. And then the meat is like, Take a bite. Well, this is what you do. Open, open the open the open the burger and look at it. Look at the burger. Open the burger, look at it, and then be like, this is delicious. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Literally, I promise you, open, go to McDonald's, order a burger, open it. Look like look at the patty and be like, this and be like, this is me. Like, tell yourself, like, oh yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is going to my body. Like, uh, what is it? I wish I could show you guys a picture of like uh, the burger I had for my birthday. But man, I don't know. But if I want something like super fast, super quick, super easy, definitely uh, McDonald's is the way to go. But I think it's just so different in Japan. It's like in Japan we have um, rice burgers, so it's like two rice patties. And then it's like meat on the end. Like it's like instead of bread, they use like rice cakes, like real rice cakes. So it's just really, really, and they have like teriyaki burger, samurai burger. Like it's real Japanese here. It's like really Japanese. It's an experience. I definitely recommend you to go. Yeah, but usually the only people that go to McDonald's in Japan are like high school kids because they can afford it. Because it's like super, super cheap. It's amazingly cheap. Super, super cheap. But what is it? Uh, okay. All right. So let's go ahead and let's start. So what is it? I think I think we're at a good we're at a good we're at a good timing to start our first quiz. So hello everyone. I'm Josh. And I am a little sick, so you'll see me with my box of tissues here. I'll show you. You'll see me with my box of tissues and my vitamins, and you'll see me with my my tea. So excuse my voice, but um, but today we're going to be doing some fun quizzes. Today we're going to be learning a cool lesson about comparative phrases. And if you have any questions, just message me, and we'll go into more detail about our sponsor for today. Roll the clip. Roll the clip. Did we roll it? Are we rolling the clip? Not rolling the clip. Let's start the movie. Here we are. All right. Whew. Nose a little tickly. All right. So let's start with a little fun quiz. If it works, it works. And if it doesn't, we have the real one ready for you. So here we are. We're on this cool platform called Duno. Yeah. Duno. And I will show you. This is an AI an AI quiz generator that will allow you to make fun quizzes with you and your friends. And also, if you are trying to learn another language, maybe English, you are able to use this to create fun quizzes about specific topics or broad topics to help yourself learn a little bit better and test your knowledge. Today, we'll be doing a fun quiz so I can show you exactly how easy it is to use. So today, we're going to be doing this one. Do-do. Do-do, do-do. And then, what is it? I'll go here. So I want to try this out, see if it works. I want to make sure everything is correct. So it's easiest. One, two, six. Put the questions in and press generate. All right. And so we're waiting for that while it uses the tons of information to make the best quiz ever. I'll introduce myself. Once again, I'm Josh. You can call me Joshua. I live in Japan. I'm American, but I live in Japan. I lived in America for about 28 years, and I've lived in Japan for 16. Oh, that was quick. And uh, what is it? Uh, 
I am an English teacher. I teach English here in Japan, and I work for many different companies. And uh, as you can see, there's tons of things, tons of things we can do. But I'm going to send you guys the link. Oh, yep, there we go. I'm going to send you guys the link to the quiz. So quick fifth link to the quiz. Uh, and remember, uh, when you sign in, use your email. Please use your email. Use your email. Is this microphone on? Use your email. I'll say it in Spanish because I can speak Spanish. Use your email. That was Spanish. I'm fluent. I'm not fluent in Spanish. That was English. But yes, what is it? But we'll be using this quiz. Well, we'll be using this uh, platform throughout the day to help test your knowledge and to build on the information we learn. At the end of today's session, we will be doing a quiz where you can learn, uh, well, you can earn earn prizes, yeah. earn prizes. So you can win prizes. So I'll give people some time to sign up. And once again, happy Friday. What is it, Lily? Are you ready for today? Lily, first place. I think today is going to be like, oh, she's ready. She's ready. Oh, she got the thumbs up too. All right, now the real question is, is everyone ready to beat Lily? Lily is public enemy number one. Like, she's dangerous, guys. Take her down. Oh, oh all right. Mar, Mar said go. She said go. All right. I got to wait for Lily. Lily's the boss. Lily, are you ready? Lily, Lily's the one running the show. She's pulling strings. Lily, are we good to go? Go, go, go. All right, Lily said, let's go, let's go. Everyone's in. So remember, scan this QR code or click the link below. And if you didn't get in, it's totally fine. There's a link at the top of the screen. So let's go. Ah, two, one. Ah, it's crazy. Ah. It's just a fun quiz. To help you guys understand how awesome it can be. Again, now. Uh, who? Who in the world? Ah, okay. There we go. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who that is, but I ain't going to it. Ah. There we are. Let's see how this goes. Let's go. Let's go. I think these are super easy. Really easy, right? There we go. Easy. Super, super easy. And there we go. Now we know who to come for. Whoever's number one, target on your back. Everyone's coming for you. Public enemy number one. What is it? But side note, today I was talking to my friends who, who speak Russian, and they were teaching me how to say I love you. And I was like, wow, that's like super difficult. It's so difficult. I have to see it spelled out. I was like wondering. I was like, in Japan, we 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 don't really say I love you. We, we never really say it. I wonder, like in Russia, in in Russian, do you guys say I love you? That's the question of the day. 
Is it common? Is it a common thing to say? Ah, yeah, they just, yeah, what is it? What is it? It's a culture of like, what is it? Oh, really? You gotta say, I love you always. Really? Whoa, wow. In in Japan, I love you is, it's, uh, what is it? It's more like you show it from actions. Saying it means nothing. You have to show me that you love me. You have to do an action. That's why they don't say it at all. All right, so let's start the lesson. So we'll get as much as we can through the time, but I wanna get through some fun stories we have. So comparison phrases. I didn't have a picture today to introduce because this is like a continuation of yesterday. If you came yesterday, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so comparison phrases. In English, all right, so when we talk about comparative phrases, we usually use the expression is the same as and the same that. Both expression mean almost the same thing and are very alike in appearance, behavior, traits, and characteristics of someone else. So when we talk about, just to give you context, so you don't have to read this, I'll read it for you and break it down. So when we talk about using the same as or like, <clears throat> we're looking at two different things and we're saying that, wow, this piece of paper is the same as this tissue. They're both white. They're white as each other. We're comparing the two. We're talking about what traits or characteristics or behavior they have. So they're both white, but this one's tissue from a nose. All right, so if something is happening at the same time as something else and the two things are happening in a way that is similar or exactly the same. So two things are happening um, at the exact same time and they look alike, you can use this. So example, the movie was released the same year as The Dark Knight was released. Mm -hmm. Oh, so what is that? Oh, this movie? Oh, this movie was released, came out, was shown the same time as The Dark Knight, another movie. So this trait we're talking about here is time, when they were available, when people could watch them. All right. And also, the movie was released the same year that The Dark Knight was released. Both cities construction used the same as the same dot, 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 as, and the same, dot, 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 that, are acceptable. However, the construction, the same, dot, 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 as, is considered more common. So this one's more common to use. So what is it? I remember one time, and this tells you how bad of a boyfriend I am. I was dating my ex-girlfriend, and we would fight, right? And, you know, if, if you ever love somebody, you know exactly how to make them angry. And we would fight. And I would say, this is how I knew I, I could win an argument if I did this. We'll be fighting and I'll be like, you're the same as your mother. Yo, changed into a monster. She's like, sweet little girl, how dare you call me my mother? I am not the same as my mother. And I'll be like, yeah, I won that argument. Don't be a bad boyfriend like me. Don't use, use grammar the right way. All right, so let's look at the, to differentiate these two sentences at the bottom. So what's the difference right here? The dagger used in the murder was the same that had been used before. The dagger that was used in the murder is the same one that is used before. So according to the first sentence, the dagger was used twice. In the second sentence, the dagger was used each time, but they look the same. So this one is saying the same dagger was used two times, so this is the same dagger that had been used. So this dagger was used in a different murder. Stab somebody twice. This dagger was the same as. So this one means it looks similar or it could be a same model, but it's not the same. It looks alike. Like comp you're comparing what it looks like. This one is telling us, oh no, this one is the same one. So you have to be a little bit careful. All right. So the same type construction with as. So what is it right here? So she entered the Game of Thrones at the same age. Well, yeah, she entered the Game of Thrones at the same age as Sophie Turner had entered six years earlier. So this one, a little bit more complex, but this one's saying pretty much this girl, Sophia, she was the same, the same time she entered the Game of Thrones was six years old, the same years old as 
uh, what is it? Her sister? Oh, the same age as Sophia Turner. So this girl, Sophia Turner. All right, other evidence points in the same direction as the first, there's the first evidence of the case. So this one is noun and now. So this one says that two nouns or two situations are both the same. All right, so be careful. Use as as a linking verb and not that. So this sweater is the same color as that one. Okay. This sweater is same color as that, that one. Not okay. Do, do, do. All right. So here, let's look at some common um, setups. So as, adjective, adverb, as. Common way to do it. He is as tall as me. They work as slowly as me. So as and some type of adjective between them. The next one right here. I'll click this one at the bottom so it's a little connected. There you go. Easier to see this way. So the same noun as. This color is the same as that color. This is the same color as that. So remember, we're not using this is the same color that that to do. All right, comparison. So here we go. Subject verb as if though. I'm very tired. I feel as if I haven't slept for a week. It looks as though it's going to snow. So you're comparing the situation to another situation. So it's like, I've seen it snow before. And it looks like it's going to snow today. It looks like it. All right, let's see. How do we use like and as in comparative? Ah, so first question, simile metaphor, right? So like, let me see. Simile metaphor. Simile metaphor. Like as. How do I can't, what is it? Anyway, simile metaphor. So when you use like, <laughs> something has the same characteristics as something else. She runs, oh, he eats like a dog. So the same way a dog would eat, he's eating, right? So these two things are connected. So as can be used in the same way. He eats as if he's a dog. The, the structure of the sentence is a little bit different, but they can be used to connect two characteristics. Ah, yes, you're just like your father. Are you just as your father? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second one's right. The first one sounds more natural. The second one sounds like a movie. You're just as your father. But it is right. It sounds like old English, but yes, it is right. Similarly, so similarities, like or as, right here. He looks like you. So it's like, um, what is it? Women will say like, you know, I got pregnant and I have a baby and it's been in my body for nine months and I've had a headache and my feet are sore. And I, you know, I have the baby and he looks like his father. What? I did all the work. The baby looks like his father. Needs to look like the mom. The mom did all the work. There we go. And sometimes it showed difference. So they are different from us. We use different. They are different from us. All right. We can use show like the ability and inability of things. So he is such a good player that he plays for a national team. So right here, he is such a good player. So here's such. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't introduce such. So you can use such too. So someone is such, someone is such a loser that they had to go to another country and get a girlfriend. They're such a loser. Or someone's such a handsome man he could, that he could have anyone. So right here, we hear this one all the time. So he's, he's, I would say he's so good at playing <laughs> right here. They are so bad. They're so bad at the team that they can, they will be sacked. I would say they're such a bad team. I'll say such a bad team. But hey, what is it? But I want to get into some examples. Let me go down here. There are tons and tons of examples, but I want to get into some real life examples. I want you guys to see where this lives. All right. So these are two guys. And they look pretty normal. They have a hat. They have a black shirt. They look like Paval. Look exactly like him. 
looks just like this guy. And that looks just like me. All right, so this is a story. I want to see how this, I want to see how you guys like this story. All right. So in the heart of a buffling city of a metropolis, there were two friends, Max and Alex, who were as different as night and day. Max was known for his adventurous spirit, while Alex was more reverse and introverted. Despite their differences, their friendship was strong as steel, and they had a unique way of using comparative phrases to express their bond. Ah. On a sunny afternoon, Max turned to Alex and said, you know, Alex, our friendship is as dependable as the rising sun, as constant as the changing seasons. Oh, so romantic. Max smiled one warmly and replied, and your sense of adventure is as wild as a summer storm. Max always keeps keeping life exciting. Their friendship thrived on these comparative phrases. Max often told Alex, you're as steady as the lighthouse in the storm. You are always guiding me when I lose my way. Alex would chuckle and say, and you, Max, are unpredictable as a box of chocolate. But that's what makes life, that's what makes life with you so sweet. Isn't that a romantic year? All right, one day they strolled through the city park. Max noticed a couple on the bench, deeply in love holding hands. He turned to Alex and said, look at them. They're, they're in love. Uh, they're as in love as two birds in a nest, creating a world of their own. Alex nodded in agreement, saying, yes, their love is as beautiful as a rainbow after a heavy rain, and remembering that even the strongest storms can lead to something wonderful. Aw. Their observations about the world around them were always punctuated with comparison phrases, adding depth and color in their conversations. One evening, they decided to take a spontaneous road trip to a nearby mountains. As they reached the summit and gazed at the breathtaking view of the valley below, Max exclaimed, this vista is as awe-inspiring as the Grand Canyon. So awe-inspiring means breathtaking. There's no words to describe it. Awe-inspiring as our friendship. It's just as grand. Alex Grinden said, in this adventure, Max, it's as exhilarating as a roller coaster. Exhilarating means exciting, very, very exciting. And with the twists and turns, I wouldn't want to experience with anyone else. Oh, that's really cool. I want a friendship like that. Let's see. As they returned from their trip, they realized that their friendship, with all its quirks and contrasts, was just as unique and valuable as any other relationship. Their comparison phrase had become a special language through which they could express their appreciation for each other in the world around them. In Metropolis, where, uh, where the pace of life is as fast as a speeding train, Max and Alex's friendship remains solid, oh, as solid as a mountain and as enduring as time itself. They knew that their differences were what made their bond so extraordinary, and they continued to explore life's adventures together using their favorite comparison adjectives to navigate the world as a dynamic duo, as inseparable as the two sides of the same coin. Ah, oh. well, this is an example too. This is different, but yeah, here we go. Max and Alex, good story. You can read English. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. All right. So what is it? We got a little bit of time. So let's run. What is it? We'll do this example and then we'll jump into the game. All right. Example two. <clears throat> All right. So in an enchanting town of Willowbrook, nested by, oh, first of all, look at this nice picture. So in an enchanted town of Willowbrook, nestled by the Mindering River and surrounded by our rolling hills, there lived a young woman named Emily and a dashing man named Daniel. They were neighbors who had known each other since childhood as they grew up. Their friendship had blossomed into something deeper, a love as profound as a, as a river's gentle current. Oh, so it's like a river. It's nice and relaxing. So that's how their love was. One clear summer evening, as they sat on the porch of Emily's cottage, Daniel gazed into her eyes and whispered, Emily, your eyes sparkle like the stars on a clear night and your smile is as warm as summer day. Guys, take notes. Take notes, men. It's how you get a girlfriend. Well, see, blushing, so her cheeks turn red. Blushing, 
Emily replied, and Daniel, your voice is so soothing as a whisper of the wind through the trees, and your touch is as gentle as a petal of the as the petals of a rose. Mm. Their love was a treasure, love was a treasure trove of comparison of comparison phrases. Each word was a testament to the depth of their feelings. Daniel often told Emily, You're as graceful as a dancer, gliding through life with elegant and charm. Emily Turner would say, and you, Daniel, are strong as an oak tree, providing shelter and support in times of need. Oh, a strong tree. I want to be a strong tree. Their love flourished with every passing day as they discovered new ways to express their affection through comparative phrases. One evening, as they strolled along the riverbank, Emily sighed, Daniel, our love is as boundless as the river, flowing endlessly and carrying with it a sense of sincerity. Of serenity, scenery, serenity. There we go. Serenity, serenity, serenity. To be serene. There we go. It's also a name. Serenity is also a name. Daniel nodded. Uh, nodded. His heart swelled with emotion, so his heart grew really, really big. Like, like he got stung by a bee. So he's like really, really like happy. She said this. And Emily, he said, "Our love is as enduring as an ancient oaks that lined the riverbank." weathering the storms of life together so strong tree they love trees as the season changed so did their love in autumn daniel surprised surprised emily with a bouquet of vibrant leaves saying each leaf is as unique as their love emily tapestry emily a tapestry of colors that grows more and more beautiful with time so tapestry is something you put on the wall like a painting emily touched by his gesture and replied and your love, Daniel, is as comforting as a cozy fireplace in a chilly winter's night, warming my heart and soul. Aww. One magical night under a sky filled with twinkle stars, Daniel took Emily's head and said, Emily, I want to spend the rest of my life with you because our love is as timeless as the universe itself, stretching beyond the horizons of our days. Overwhelmed with emotions, Emily tearfully whispered, and Daniel, I want to be with you always because our love is as deep as the river that flows through Willowbrook and unending as the hills that cradle our town, that cradle our town. In that moment beneath the canvas of the stars, canvas is like a painting of stars. So it's so beautiful, it's like a painting. Emily, oh, Daniel and Emily sealed their love with a kiss and the kiss as sweet as the ripest berry. So really, really sweet, like a, like a, a raspberry, blueberry and the kiss that spoke of a love that was eternal as the universe and profound as the river's gentle. Profound means to be true. So true. In Rilla Brook, their love became a story of legend, a testament to the power of love expressing through comparative phrases, a love story as timeless as the hills and as radiant as the stars in the night sky. Aww, romantic. Why am I so lonely? Why am I so lonely? Lily, don't laugh at me. Don't 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 laugh at me. You know, I'm being vulnerable right now. I'm being vulnerable. This is what we do. We tear men down. I just want to, I just want love. I'm lying. I'm, lying. I'm okay. All right. We practice, so let's go. Time to win some prizes. All right. Someone asked me. Someone asked me. Oh, let me jump in. Off topic, but anyways. What's this about? Could you explain? Yeah, so we're learning some comparative phrases and structures. And so we read two stories that kind of gave an example of how you can use it. When you want to talk about something like it's something else. Ah, uh, you didn't fully understand. Mm. What is it, Mary? What questions do you have? What question? While we have, while people are signing up with their emails, Mary, you can ask me a question. What question do you have? What question? Ooh. All right, we got three people in. Go ahead, go ahead and sign up, guys. You can scan the QR code on the screen with your phone, or you can click that link I put in there.
Dun, 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 dun. There we go. And by winning this quiz, you get some cool prizes. Get some cool prizes. Give people about one minute to finish up. Remember to use your email. Oh, welcome. We're so, you came just in time for the quiz. Oh, someone has a hand raise. What's your question? Type it in the chat. Type your question in the chat. 30 seconds and then we'll start. Thirty seconds. So someone raised their hand. So someone had a question. See what's open here twice. All right. Oh, wrong place, buddy. Wrong place. All right. So we are going to uh, start. Is everyone ready? Lily, you ready? My bottom dollars. All right, Lily's ready. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Ah, it's crazy right now. I'm crazy. This one's difficult, guys. You have to use everything we've learned. We've learned all this. There you go. Good job. Good job. In order to use this effectively, you have to know a little bit of yesterday and today. That's why you got to come every day. Yeah. We're comparing everything. All right. Remember, the faster you answer, the higher score.
Oh, look at you guys doing it. Oh, look at Lily in first place. Okay, is Lily going to win today? Is, is Lily going to be number one today? I don't know. I don't know. What is it? Are we, are we taking bets? Or who's going to be first place? There we go. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Oh, okay, Lily. Good job, everyone. Good job. Good job. Good job. That was <laughs> Lily's like amazing. Wait, Lily, were you amazing or was the quiz amazing or was I amazing? Like, what? who was amazing? What was amazing? That's the question. Amazing. So, this is so this is today is the last day of doing this. So, I want to say. Thank you, everyone who came out. You know, even if you came one day or two, or even today, thank you guys so much. Ah, yeah. But it's it's good for you to have time to do this stuff because the more time you have to practice, um, speed, speed and accuracy is what helps you become fluent. So how fast you can say something, or how fast you can read, and how close you are to the meaning. So speed and accuracy. So, but like I said, thank you guys for having me. Uh, it was a fun five days. Um, and I'm excited that I've met you guys. Yeah, it was great. I feel like I know you. I feel like you guys are my family. I feel like you guys are my family. But Sally, oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. So Sally, thank you so much for Duno for having me here. Thank you for letting us use this platform. Um, and you guys are awesome. I would say like one, this topic is very difficult. It takes about a week to learn and we only did it in like 23 minutes. So understand that it's not going to be perfect but with a little bit of practice and some time and you know a good teacher as me is the same as me that you'll be great you're gonna be great so miss you guys love you guys and if you come to japan i don't know if, if i come to your country i don't know let me know but see you guys around Mwah. love you Stay safe.